a lot of talk about what's wrong with the offense, um, whether it's scheme, uh, lack of sophistication in terms of routes or combinations or concepts even. Uh, if it's Lamar, uh, if it's the play calling, um, we're going to look at seven or eight plays um, that I pulled and see what we see. We're going to start with two plays back-to-back -back versus Houston week two. They bring Marquise out of the slot and they align him behind the quarterback. This is a designed uh, throwback against Flo. Uh, there's this play action fake to, to Marquise. Uh, with the back out front. The attempt here to, is to uh, leak Nick Boyle out. I'm not sure I see any indication on this play that the quarterback even checks Miles Boykin. You see Miles win inside. You see the safety on the other side of the field on the opposite seam. Right there, you've got a touchdown. Uh, it seems to me this is his look, and he's waiting on Nick, who is covered. Uh, if we look to it from the other side, Watch what the quarterback watches, right? He's going to boot. He's going to sell that. He's going to set his feet. By this point, you know, he's just eyeballing Nick. You can tell. And I wonder why it is that some of these one-on-ones on the outside are just an afterthought, uh, particularly with Miles Boygan. A lot of times you see him just total clear outs deep, you know? Um, yeah, that's disappointing. Um, you end up with an incompletion. You should have had a touchdown or could have had a touchdown here. Now, there's nothing wrong with this play design. It works very well. It's just, um, you know, making a decision, planting your foot, and, and throwing it to the back of the end zone. It's so the next play, third and nine. Again, you see what looks like man right on the outside against Miles. You know, Miles isn't a world beater. I'm not saying that. But you got to look to him. It's got to be frustrating. Another problem, I mean... Watch, there's a blown coverage on the outside. Quarterback drops back with his eyes to that side and then goes right off of it. I mean, you don't get, that's, that's wide open. Um, another big problem, you can see this in every single game, and I'm going to say that uh, three out of four times it's on Mark Andrews, this idea of guys running routes together. And part of that is, you know, we're not a passing team per se. Mark's got to know what the routes behind him are. They cut him loose and have him sit um, run through zones, uh, run, run to space, run to grass, whatever you want to say, a lot. And um, I love that. I love that, uh, that connection he and Lamar have. But right here, you see this too many times where you've just got bunches of receivers in an area. So, so this, is a, this is a persistent problem that you see on film. So is this. You know, the, they've got to have confidence that you can beat, that you can hit somebody one on one uh, on the outside. Um, let's see what he's watching. Quarterback's watching off the ball. It's third and nine. His eyes are to that side of the field. There's a blown coverage. I, he's just not looking at Miles at all. I think this is the design look the whole time, or he's wanting to come back to Mark. I'm not sure what he's doing uh, in terms of his progression here. I think it's I think it's all designed for. Um, some form of a mesh between Marquise and the running back there. He's trying to get the running back uh, to pick up the first down. Watch Marquise run this route right there. He kind of breaks that off when, when Mark sits it. That's what I mean. You see that sort of thing a lot with Mark because he doesn't have um, uh, assigned routes as such. He just finds space, uh, but they got to rep this stuff all the time. He's got to know what routes are around him. Part of the discussion, you know, as it relates to the offensive coordinator that, that I've heard is um, lack of sophistication uh, in terms of route combination. Um, and then in, in terms of concept generally, things that other teams do, we don't do. You see these screens or pick routes here in full bloom. Des Bryant's going to take uh, his defender away and open up this slant for the outside receiver. Uh, Mark runs a very very nice route here, sort of a post and pivot. And Willie runs a great screen into his guy. So this beautiful combination of this rub and the route here. And the quarterback uh, does a good job coming off what is either his first read or just a look off. And Mark is a designed hit here. And he hesitates. He's got the ball up. He's got the receiver open. He does not put it on him. Pulls the ball down, takes a sack.
Another miss down in the in the red zone here. I think a, a nice design. To my, to my eye, this is play action designed to look like he's reading. Um, back goes to the flat. You see the garden tackle pull uh, into protection. Looks like he's, he looks like he could be reading here. Um, in any case, this interior uh, tight end is going to run off the safety. Mark's got a step here. Uh, you can see the ball's out. So Lamar does a good job here. Uh, if I'm guessing, I'm going to put this on Mark. I think Mark ought to be getting this uh, flat. He's got a good step. He ought to be, be able to body the defender here, uh, beat him inside. But there could be, you know, just a lack of communication where Mark wants him uh, to put the ball in the back of the end zone. And maybe that's reps. Maybe that goes back to what the coach said. We're not a throwing team. And um, most of the reps in, you know, practice <laughs> are minimal when it comes to the throwing game. Um, you can see he does a good job here. Throwing to space, throwing with anticipation. Um, maybe could get a little more on this, but I think it's on Mark here to cut this flatter. And um, we just miss. This is the, the pick six, and I'm sure people are, are sick to death of this being broken down. Everybody kind of knows what happened here. I'll just add my two cents. Uh, about a couple things. Um, you've got to be able to drop the ball uh, to the back of the end zone. You've got to have um, some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, aptitude uh, between the, the, the team, the coaching staff, the uh, receivers, and, and uh, a rapport to be able to hit these throws. I don't like that everybody's relatively at the same depth, relatively running the same route. I don't like it at all. In that way, it's congested. Uh, that's one thing. Um, and then Willie's route, you know, live, I felt like he was open. I think he could be more open. I think, again, this has to do with, I think, with depth. Um, if you run him right to the goal line, run it, have him run the same kind of route there. Um, he's, I think he's kind of... I think he's kind of cognizant of the fact that Mark is the first read here. I don't. It looks to me like he doesn't expect to be getting the football. The other thing that I'll say, I'm very disappointed in Willie about here, and I like Willie a lot. He could have made a play on this um, potentially. He stays. He stands around and watches. He sees this ball picks, and he thinks Mark's got the the uh, tackle. He's going to make this tackle. Watch how long he's still standing there. Still flat footed. Too late now. Um, so I, I guess it's debatable as to whether he would have been able to tackle this guy. Uh, but he's certainly flat footed waiting for, for Andrews to make the tackle there. I had a teacher that, that would say to me, uh, never play anything that isn't effortless. In other words, you know, if I'm finding myself playing and I have a thought about, employing some technique, some, some uh, concept. In the midst of playing, I'm going to mess up. Only play what wants to come out. And, and I wonder um, if the Ravens have that confidence in terms of Lamar all the time. Um, they see him in practice, so I don't know. I don't know. He's got to be able to make this throw. This is, this is a nicely designed play. Uh, particularly in light of uh, this formation, uh, these splits, it's virtually identical to something we saw. Uh, I would say it is identical. Pat being pulled up, um, and it's a great play call. Never mind the the concept. The concept is is as well. I think um, gets a high low read. Everybody's going to drive on this route because of earlier in the game, and. Uh, uh, the Ravens using Pat to the flat. Uh, everybody's thinking run here. You can't, you can't let, you can't miss this throw. Um, and you can almost see the body language here when this throw is missed on the sideline. Um, so they've got to, they've got to, they've got to call plays, I think, according to what they see in practice. And, and I don't know what they're seeing in practice, of course. 
Um, but he's got to be able to hit this throw. 